Hi, Gary from Mr. G Shave. Um, yeah, shave number 80. God, blimey, that's, that's a number, isn't it? <laughs> it's a small number in comparison to some. Um, yeah, um, I'll go over what I'm going to use, but I've, I just wanted to give a shout out to Billy. You know who you are, Billy. Uh, he used to have a, a YouTube channel. He sent me a little parcel. So, uh, it's got some weight to it as well, so I'm uh, looking forward to opening that. Um, I'll probably do an open box, open boxing in on either, it might be Monday, because I'm doing my Battle of the Blades on, on uh, Monday, uh, and I'll go into that more on, on the video. Um, it'll either be Monday or it'll be Wednesday before the straight shave, and maybe a separate video to the straight shave, but we'll see, we'll see. I haven't decided what, what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to open the box at all. I will open it on camera. <clears throat> so, what am I using today? Saturday uh, shave of the day. I'm going with pears again. And then, I'm going with Goodfellas Smile Kronos. Um, and the scent on this, I mean, now I've found that tab, it's easier to get the lid off. Oh, this is, I, I, I must admit, I've forgotten what the scent notes are, but it's a stunner. Um, good strength five out of the out of the puck. I'll I'll either add the the scent notes up here, or I'll talk about it after I've done uh, got ready for the shave. Um, but yeah, good fella smile, Kronos. This is uh, um, the same soap company. Jim will shave has just recently hit 500 subscribers so congratulations Jim uh, well deserved he got there sooner than I did um, but yeah he's a he's a fan of Goodfellas Smile and so am I if I'm honest and I, I don't think they get enough coverage so I've got this soap and another one to to um, show uh, probably be next Saturday um, but yeah this is really nice, and I'll, I'll, I'll look up the scent notes in between. You know, when I when I've done this and I get ready for the the shave, I'll look it up then. Um, I'm following that up with Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, Nivea Men Two Phase After Shave, Nivea Men Active Age. At your age, <laughs> I know I keep saying that six in one. So where yesterday it was a three in one, uh, Leah uh, three in one after after show balm. Today's Nivea six in one. They've got to they've got to go one better, haven't they? Anyway, so what's special about today's shave? I'll show you in a minute. Um, bowl, <clears throat> Giles Shave and Co. Shallow bowl, great bowl. Love it. Brush, I've had it soaking, is my Samoag 830 brush. Love this brush, absolutely. I've only used it a few times on and off camera, um, mainly to start the break in process. And as you can see, it's already beginning to break in. Um, so, yeah, that's been soaking. And then the razor. Razors, Razors is, is because of a subscriber request. Um, Kim is one of my subscribers and she asked me to do a face shave with the Leaf Razor. So <clears throat> that's it there, the Leaf. So I, I watched the video that I did first time around last, um, the last time, um, well the last time I used this on the face and I wasn't really that impressed with it. I'm only going to be using two blades in it instead of three this time and the Gillette Wilkinson sword blades on the second use in there <clears throat> um, and just to keep things equal I've got another Gillette Wilkinson sword in the leaf twig so there's the leaf twig so one side's going to be the, the, the leaf with multi blades uh, or I call it the leaf head shaver and this one will be on the right hand side so one on the left one on the right and I'm going to do a comparison. So it's leaf versus leaf twig. So there we go. 
So that's um, all the hardware that I'm using today. I'm going to get myself ready and I'll be right back with those scent notes. Right, I'm back. Um, yeah, so I've looked up the notes. I've got the pre-shave on already. I've got water all over my glasses. Top notes, citrus, pineapple and green notes. Heart notes, marine and floral. And base notes, woody, amber, tonka bean and patchouli. And I'm getting the base notes more than I'm getting the top notes. Um, <clears throat> it's quite a soft soap. Um, it's not hard at all. I mean, you can just push your finger in. Um, so, very similar to the other, to the soap I used last time. Or the last Goodfellas Smile soap. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I was quite surprised when it had all that citrus in it at the up front. Um, let's just get this pre-shave rubbed in. Um, because I'm getting more of the musky and the patchouli and sort of the woody scents. Um, but yeah, I mean maybe it's just my nose, but it's still a, an amazingly good scent. <clears throat> good strength, certainly. I would say five again, straight out of the puck. I've already uh, put the soap in the bowl. And squeeze out the brush, give it a couple of shakes, and go straight in. And it, as with all Goodfellas Smiles soaps, it lathers up pretty quickly. It doesn't waste its time. Um, so yeah, so in the, for the purposes of speeding up the video I'm going to lather up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Um, all lathered up, it's exploded. <laughs> um, just to show you, look at that, that's ridiculous. Absolutely stunning. Um, as I've said many times before, uh, there's a lot of people are put off because this is, you know, an inexpensive soap and they think it's not going to be up to much. Well, take it from me, this is really good. An effective soap. Um, it really does the job well and certainly competes with soaps that are two, three, four times the price of it. So, <clears throat> great slickness, great scents, great labels if you're into that. Um, they really put in an effort. Um, and it, I have to say, Goodfellas Smile has never, ever let me down. And as I was saying, Jim Will Shave has just hit 500 subscribers and he is doing a giveaway of a full set of um, Goodfellas Smile. Um, I think he said it's on Agent Shave, so if you go on Agent Shave, um, that's where I got mine, I think. Um, if you go on Agent Shave and look up Goodfellas Smile soaps and pick, you know, if you win, you basically you've got to go onto his video and um, I think in the comment section you write I'm in and then if you win you go on and you can pick um, you can pick one of the soap scents and he'll buy you a full set of that right so left hand I'm going to go with the what I would call the head shaving leaf it's only got two blades in it this time It doesn't feel as efficient as a DE. It doesn't feel as efficient, but I guess the proof will be when I actually come to do the third pass, maybe the touch-ups. But I do have to take quite a lot of um, strokes on the face until I'm happy. So this is the first time I'm using this on the face. So 
the leaf twig. Now that feels brilliant. See how I'm using far less strokes on this. And where I'm applying pressure with the, the multi-blade leaf or the head shaver leaf, I'm, not, I'm applying no pressure with the twig. <clears throat> so, second pass. I noticed I didn't get any takers for that Global Shave Club um, razor. I'm not surprised if I'm honest, I didn't really sell it very well. Sig, Sig left a comment saying I really, <laughs> really didn't do a good job of uh, selling that. I'm not trying to sell it, I'm trying to give it away. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I mean, if nobody wants that razor, that's fine. I'll just sort of leave it in the cupboard. I might pull it out occasionally for a head shave, but it's unlikely. It may just there, be there as decoration. Um, or I'll give it to somebody that I know in my local village, but I think it might be too aggressive for him at the moment. So, because um, he's using a King C Gillette razor um, and I think this might be too much for him but yeah so I haven't decided if nobody comes forward for that razor then um, yeah it will definitely be going from the den at some point or it'll just be there as decoration but it tells you something about the reputation of Global Shave Clubs when nobody want nobody wants even a free one um, I you know it's very harsh but you know at the end of the day I bought that razor when Global Shave Clubs was quite quite popular in the community and um, you know it it didn't have the reputation then that it does now, um, which is a shame because for me they were quite innovative and they seem to be answering a lot of the or catering to the needs of a lot of other shavers by reproducing some of the old Gillette razors and things like that. And it's a great, I, it's a great thing what they were trying to do, but they need to get the quality control sorted. Um, <clears throat> And before releasing a razor to a shaving community like ours, they really, really, really need to make sure that it's spot on uh, and there are no faults. So quality control, research and development is key because reputations can be ruined on one video. And that's that's the... That's the thing I think with with uh, some of these YouTube uh, reviews that are going out, the manufacturers need to realise that you know if you if you're producing um, software, hardware, whatever for the shaving community, and you're likely to get a review on YouTube, it's great, it's free marketing, but it could also be a big negative if you get it wrong. Um, whether the YouTubers had it as a gift or whether they've had it had it as a you know they bought it themselves makes no difference one or two videos can destroy a reputation of a, of a soap manufacturer of a, a hardware manufacturer like global shaves club global shave club <clears throat> um, so yeah it's a shame is all i'm saying i i didn't have a problem other than the the paint coming off on the base plate it, it gave me a great shave, head shave yesterday. I've got no complaints as, as, 
as far as the way it performed. Uh, build quality, yeah. It's the first razor that I've got that's actually shown any signs of wear and tear. Um, so, but as I say, if nobody wants it, that's fine. Right, let's get back to the subject of this shave. The second pass was quite comfortable. Again, I think I took more strokes with the uh, head shave leaf razor or the, the, the multi-bladed leaf razor. So now it's against the grain for the third, third pass. And I have set, I find this far more comfortable. And it really, you can feel the blade cutting. It, it's just a, it's, it's difficult to say. It's more of a, a, <clears throat> a shave feel that I'm used to. Um, Oh, and this, I forgot about this. When you get anywhere near the beard, and this does that, it pinches a hair, and as you move, it pulls the hair out, or, you know, it pulls at it. And that's annoying. <laughs> and I can imagine this is quite difficult to get under the nose as well. I mean, I can actually see a beard hair sticking out the bottom there. So, yeah. It, it, it just, I don't know what it is. There's a slight tugginess, tugginess to it, only slight, <clears throat> but it just doesn't feel like it's, it's cutting very well. But it is, you know. But because it doesn't feel like it's cutting, you go over it more times. It's more effort, definitely more effort. Right, let's see. Let's see what the difference is. About the same, if I'm honest. But this, yeah, there's more. There's more on this side. Only just though. Only just. There's not a huge difference. But as I say, you, you, you. There's more effort to get to that that spot. <clears throat> I think if I restricted the number of strokes. So if I if I started off with the twig and counted the strokes and then only gave the same amount of strokes with the leaf razor, the, the multi-bladed leaf. Um, we'll call it one leaf and one twig. The, the twig takes far less strokes to, to, to accomplish the same finish. So, and it definitely needs some pickups. But, I mean, look at this. So, three passes and it's still Got loads and loads of lather, and I only used a fingernail size or toothpaste tube. You know, imagine squeezing out a little blob of toothpaste onto your brush. Um, that's all I've used. So, oh, I do enjoy the scent off this soap. Oh, stunning. Slickness, second to none. Um, Really, really good. Um, right, let's do the pickups. You see, trying to edge. You 
You can hear it cutting at the hairs. It's just not very precise, especially if you've got a beard like me or you, you want to do sideburns or things like that. It's not very precise for that, but for a head shave, it's, it's the best razor out on the market, as far as I'm concerned. But for face shaves, Still not. That feels that probably that's it. Yeah, oh, getting this soap everywhere. So that's one side. Much easier to use. Much more manoeuvrable. <clears throat> um, far better for face shaves. The, uh, the twig for me wins hands down over the over the leaf. Um, I mean, I know they're both leaves, but you know what I mean. Um, the twig is definitely the winner. Um, right, I'll come back for my final thoughts after I've cleaned up. See you in a minute. Right, I'm back. Cl all cleaned up. I forget where I was at the, at the end of the last break. Um, but yeah, enjoyable shave, but yeah, that's where I was. I, I, I would say... Without a doubt, I mean they're both BBS. I both they feel the same, but if you watch the video, see how many strokes I take with that um, multi blade. You know, with this one, <clears throat> I take a lot more strokes. There's less feel in terms of how it's cutting um, than than the twig. The twig. You can feel it cutting, you're confident that it's cutting and it, and it takes far less strokes to get to the same result. As I say, I think it would be an interesting exercise if I were to actually only use the same number of strokes for both razors and there I think, I think this leaf would lose without question. Um, it needs far more strokes. But you can get to the same place. So for a beginner it's probably quite a good razor. If you're used to a cart, I would say, yeah, the leaf is probably a good, a good starting point. But I, I, I'd, I'd encourage you to to get off that on the face and on to something like a Merca 34C or a Edwin Jagger DE89 or a Henson. Um, they're all great uh, beginner razors. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so right, let's cold, cold rinse. Nearly lost my pattern of uh, shaving. Oh. Always throw some on my head as well. I love the cold rinse, just wakes you up. Right, on with <clears throat> this should tell as well. Let's do the alum. Yeah, there's a bit of burn on the left side so far. Only mild, I would say probably two in some spots, three out of ten. Nothing major. Oh, 
next to no sting on, on the right side. Um, I would say one out of 10 in some places. Other than that, it's zero. So that shows me as well that I, I had to take far less passes to get to um, the result that I was looking for. Um, so yeah, that, that's interesting. So yeah, the twig wins by a mile for a face shave. Kim uses, I think she uses the twig multi-blade and, not the twig, the multi-blade um, leaf razor and the twig for her leg shaving. I can imagine both are very good, um, but for me, um, head shaving, brilliant. Unquestionably tops all of my razors. It's my favorite razor for doing head shaves without question. Twig wins hands down for face shaves. Uh, I wouldn't use the, the multi-blade leaf for my face again. Um, it, it just, it feels like you're constantly having to work at it to get to where you want to get to. You may actually be there already, but because you can't really feel it, you just don't know what it's doing. Um, so yeah, that's the end result. Let's get this uh, alum off. Boots tea tree and witch hazel. Not a lot of sting there at all now because I think the alum has taken the sting out of out of the equation. Um, let's go on with the aftershave. So Nivea men two in one. After shave, shake it up, mix the products together. Oh, that's nice. Just a really nice, pleasant scent. Very nice indeed. Oh, no burn at all on either side and then Nivea six in one so I've been going for lots of um, in ones the last couple of shaves so I'm literally only using that much oh so nice so that's me that's the shave done as I say, it, it, maybe I'm a bit biased, I don't know, but I, I challenge anybody to come out with a different result. Um, it's, it's just the blade feel, it's the way it feels on the face, it's how many strokes you have to take to get to the same place. To me, I would do far less strokes with a Merca 34C or a Feather ASD2, which is probably one of the mildest razors I've got in my den. I would do far less strokes with the Feather ASD2 than I would with that leaf multi-blade on the face. Um, how it behaves on your legs, I'm not really a leg shaver. Um, head shaving, the multi-blade head, pivoting head, best, best for head shaves and that's where it's going to stay. Uh, twig, yeah, really, really good result. Um, is it massively better than any other razor that I've got? No, but it's a very pleasant shave um, and, and it gives me all the feedback that I'm looking for. So, I'm actually gonna be doing a, a Battle of the Blades tomorrow, not tomorrow, Monday. Um, and I may do the box opening on Monday. But yeah, I'd forgotten I was doing a Battle of the Blades, so... Um, I, I, that will be a fairly short video. I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess about. I'll just get straight into the shave on that video for the Battle of the Blades and try and keep it sort of 10 to 15 minutes long. 
uh, and just concentrate on the shave rather than the products and the you know the blades but yeah so the battle of the leaf razors the twig wins that and that wins for the head the, the multi-blade pivoting head that's for the head so I'm happy to use that for the head and that's for the face <laughs> So it's bye-bye from the Leaf Razors and it's bye-bye from me. I'll see you on Monday for the Battle of the Blades. Bye for now.